You're watching Monty TV. I'm Jackie Karsh. Joined now by Ian Siegel. He's the co-founder of ZipRecruiter, which helps business owners find great employees. Thank you so much for sitting down with us. Thanks for having me. This is a problem that a lot of people face, but they face it at a very unique time, especially when it comes to a business owner. The time when they actually need to find an employee. They don't think about it and up until that point of how difficult it is to really find good employees. The hiring process is so onerous for these businesses that are so strapped for time and they're really not even sure where they should post their job. They're not sure how to go about writing a good job description. And with ZipRecruiter, we're simplifying the process so much that I think what we're actually doing is increasing the amount of total hiring that's getting done. When I hear about a job opening, I always think of the best person for that job. How do you make sure that you incorporate that element, that recommendation-like element that is a natural flow when you're in the workplace? You know, there's three ways that somebody's going to find out about a job. You know, one of it one of those is serendipity. They just happen to be on a job board and the just right job pops up in front of them. That's really how uh, most of recruiting has worked for a very long time. Just in the last couple of years, the technology has evolved to allow us to move from a searching paradigm to a matching paradigm. And the power of those matching algorithms is amazing. So now when you post a job on ZipRecruiter, we parse that description and we immediately compare it to the 10 million job seekers we have who are actively looking for work on file and we will cherry pick the very best applicants and we will notify them that a perfect job for them has just come online and literally within seconds of that job coming online they are applying to the job so this for the employer the experience is this near real-time recruiting where they push the post button great candidates start appearing who are hitting the bullseye and suddenly it doesn't feel like it's that hard to hire this last component you talked about where you recommend to a friend jobs I will bet you that the algorithms that we are writing outperform any recommendation that you could possibly make. That is not to say it isn't an important piece of the future, but it's certainly become a less important piece of the future. Is machine learning and artificial intelligence and the data sourcing that you're using the most effective way to really recruit great employees? And the advantage of machine learning is that when you get a really large quantity of data, and ZipRecruiter has had literally tens of millions of jobs come through its service right now, you have such a large training set that, um, yeah, you can actually find better candidates because we know better what to look for than the employers do. What is the future growth of this market? There's a really interesting transformation happening in the job seeking population and in particular with the millennial generation, which is five years ago, probably about 20% of job seekers were on a mobile device. And today it's over 65%. And the mobile device has certain form factor limitations that transform the way job seekers both search for jobs and also apply to jobs. And I'll give you some specific examples. When you're on a cell phone, it's not ideal to look at a long list of job openings. What you really want to do is look at one job at a time. And then it's very much Tinder-like. You want to swipe right or you want to swipe left. The other thing about being on a cell phone is it doesn't make it easy to upload an application because you can't attach a file and submit it through your cell phone, which means that what you're getting into is a, is a time when you're actually having much more organic interactions between job seekers and employers. Because if I can't submit a resume, what am I going to do? I'm going to submit a paragraph. I'm going to say like, hey, I'm interested in your job. I would like to learn more. The other thing that's true is things like cover letters, which were commonplace when I was looking for jobs. I hate the cover letters. Cover letters are <laughs> dying. So the rate at which cover letters are going to be sent along with a job application has been reducing every single year that we've been in this business. And the largest factor contributing to that is the fact that every one of these job seekers is using either cell phones or tablets in order to do their job search. You heard it here first. It's time to look for that next job. Thank you so much. Hey, it's a pleasure.